And I'll tell you, the back half of your life is a lot longer than the front of your life. So why don't you just sacrifice 10, 15 years, achieve everything you want to achieve, so that way, work-life balance, you can actually have that balance in the future. Hey guys, it's Justin Emery, and today we're gonna to talk about why we decided not to enjoy our 20s and work hard instead. Mm -hmm. We don't mean that it's not fun. We have a whole lot of fun. But compared to society's standards of what enjoying your 20s is, we decided to do the exact opposite. In general, I feel like your 20s, it's so common for people to just find themselves, have fun, and not take life seriously. So usually your 30s and 40s are when you have to settle down and start actually building a career. So when you're young, you don't have all these responsibilities. You don't have a kid, a mortgage, your rent payment isn't super high compared to when you were in your 20s and living with your parents possibly. So you have all these expenses and all these responsibilities that wouldn't allow you normally to take all the risks. So the minute we met, we actually had the same vision for our life. Like we just wanted to get all the hard work out of the way so that we can relax in our 30s and 40s when we've made it. See, in society nowadays, it's super normal for people to waste away their 20s and start to take their lives seriously in their 30s and their 40s. And basically feeding off of what, em what Emery was saying, a lot of times it's too late. See, in your 20s, it's a magical opportunity because you have so much margin for error. You could start five businesses, they could all completely fail and it doesn't matter. You can just live in your mom's basement, you can live below your means, you can live cheap rent. I mean, you can go into debt. I don't advise going into debt, but you can. And it's really not a big deal. But what happens is when you start taking your life seriously when you're 30, when you're 40, you know, you're 32 years old, you have a kid and you're like, oh, it's time to take my life too serious, uh, serious now. What happens is a lot of times you put yourself in a corner, you put these handcuffs on yourself, and now you have to take the guaranteed, the safe route, the not getting where you need to go route, because you have to pay the bills. You have to make sure that the baby eats you can't really take any risks. The problem too is when you have all these habits in your 20s where you're partying every weekend, you're hanging out with friends, you're going clubbing, you're draining your dopamine to the point where Monday when you get back to work or you get back to school, it no longer feels rewarding to actually do the work. And that's why people, if they go to a festival and they're like depressed for a week, well, it's because you just did all those drugs and that's why your dopamine is completely drained. So nothing is exciting at this point. The mundane, boring things that you have to do just don't even, you, you're just depressed. It seems like our generation thinks that life is an unbroken boulevard of green lights and nothing's ever going to go wrong. And we can just party our life away and not properly plan and somehow it's just going to work itself out. And we decided early that we didn't want to take that risk. We wanted to set up our lives to make sure that when it comes to in our 30s and our 40s, when there's actually a lot on the line, we already took those risks and put ourselves in a position where we can go ahead and actually enjoy our 30s, our 40s. See, one thing that I learned very young when I was 20 years old, and I'm so grateful I did, because I was actually going down that path. Now, good thing I changed my mind and you know implemented what I'm about to say. So I learned very young at 21 that there's a trade. There's always an exchange. Here's what it is. When you're young, you can have short-term pleasure and short-term gain, but you have to trade that for long-term pain and long-term sacrifice. Or what you can do, what we decided to do, we decided to take short-term pain and short-term sacrifice, so that way we can have long-term gain and long-term pleasure. You see, you just can't really have both. There, there's a trade-off. You might be thinking, oh, there's people that got successful in their 30s and their 40s and their 50s, you know, the KFC owner or uh, Chick-fil-A owner, these, these older people that made it really successful in life, but you're not them. We're not them, unfortunately. There's gonna be a lot of people that think life is just gonna figure itself out and what's gonna happen is they're gonna get hit in reality. When they're 30, when they're 40, they're gonna get hit with reality and unfortunately it's gonna be too late. And that's, that's why people become prisoner with, of the system. The thing is you're kind of gambling if you're waiting until you're older to take life seriously and actually work towards something because who knows what if it doesn't work out like what if you're just always in the cycle paycheck to paycheck and you just can't get ahead yeah and that's why so many people are paycheck to paycheck because they don't take the proper time to get successful in their 20s or maybe their early 30s so like i said before then it becomes 
they're handcuffed and then they have no option but just to go with the status quo so that way something doesn't go wrong. And if your motivation in life is just to get by so something doesn't go wrong, that's not a fulfilling life. That's actually scary. Eventually you're gonna wake up and be like, I'm kind of screwed in this situation because I'm like, I'm broke and I'm in debt and I need to go bankrupt. And if you watched our last video where we talked about money and saving money, unfortunately there's gonna be a pretty big wake up call for our generation and the generation before us when they get to retirement and they don't have nearly enough money and they don't have nearly enough resources. Nowadays, I feel like everybody around us is just such a huge influence in what we value and how we're shaped. So if your friends are literally just looking forward to the weekend and partying, and if you're not surrounding yourself with people who are obsessed with growing and building themselves, then unfortunately you're not going to move forward. You're going to you're going to feel like it's normal to think like that. The things that you're avoiding right now are going to be the very things that you thank yourself for later on. The hard work, the discipline, the routines, the habits, let's call it taking your life seriously. At this point, we haven't achieved nearly what we want to achieve yet, but we're at a space where even just what we have now we know that we're going to be very comfortable in our 30s, 40s, 50s, and we could actually go ahead and properly raise a family and not worry about bills, not worry about stress, not worry about pressure. Isn't that so much better than Friday night thrill, Saturday night thrill, doing drugs with your friends? Isn't that what we're here for on this earth? To raise a family, provide security, provide a future for our kids. But so many people are just leading a life of almost catching up because they didn't properly build that foundation while they were young and now they're unfortunately suffering for it. And I see this in my family, I see this in people on Facebook or even, I remember working at some old construction jobs and talking with some guys that were older and they were still doing labor. And I remember asking them, what would you do differently if you could go back? And they said they would have taken their life more seriously when they were younger. And they say it over and over and over again. I've heard this from so many different people. So we made a decision that we were gonna take our lives seriously now. And we were gonna sacrifice in the short term so that way we can enjoy our lives in the long term. And that's what we want for you guys. And that's why we're making this video. Don't just go with the popular crowd because everybody wants to go out and party. Right now where the world's moving is like having work-life balance and just like relaxing and mental health, being in a peaceful, happy place. Where is that going to get you? How peaceful are you going to be when you have so much debt that you're bankrupt and you can't breathe when you have 40K in credit card debt because the interest payment is more than your rent? The thing about work-life balance, what they don't tell you is you're gonna have to keep doing that exact same thing for a long time. Whereas if you dedicated 10 years and gave it your all, you wouldn't have to worry about work-life balance down the road. You could just not work. You could just do whatever you want and you could just work when you feel like it. Yeah, and now maybe you're like us, we're probably gonna be working forever because we love the work. Mm -hmm. We've associated the reward, the dopamine with the work because that's what excites us. Achievement excites us. Going out and partying doesn't excite us because we didn't do that, because we don't do that. As boring as it might sound to do the mundane things that are routine, that don't seem fun, your first weekend when you go to bed early on a Saturday and wake up early, you're gonna be like, whoa. I feel like I just hit a new level. I feel like I just met a new version of myself who can take over the world. It's all about changing the reward. See, a lot of people work during the week and their reward on the weekend is to go out and party and this and that, whatever. But when you're working towards such an extreme, like a, such an extreme dopamine hit, everything else seems so boring. Contrary to popular belief, I believe that the most fulfilling life and the most enjoyable and happiest life is actually a pretty boring life. Kind of like riding a pretty high wave instead of peaks and valleys because then the lows don't feel low. Living just becomes exciting working just becomes exciting. Another thing we really started focusing on ever since Justin started learning about dopamine is just knowing how your brain works and knowing how to stay motivated to the point where you're literally addicted to doing the things that you should be doing. And that's why you won't find us scrolling on social media until it's like the absolute end of the workday where we have nothing, we have no gas left in the tank that could possibly be wasted. 
something as simple as scrolling on social media for five minutes, something as simple as literally watching a commercial at the gym with no sound on is powerful enough to actually change how motivated you feel. And until you're aware of that, you're not going to understand how sensitive we are to everything and how modern society just literally spams us all day with trying to sell us stuff and trying to sell us an idea and what we should do. So let's close this off. You have a decision to make. Do you want life to be easy now and hard later? Or do you want life to be a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging now? So that way you can actually enjoy your life later. And I'll tell you, the back half of your life is a lot longer than the front of your life. So why don't you just sacrifice 10, 15 years, achieve everything you want to achieve. So that way, work-life balance, you can actually have that balance in the future and not have to be handcuffed by responsibilities and by bills and by work. And you're constantly chasing this work-life balance that you're just never going to catch up to because the world's going faster than you. You have that decision to make. So anyways, have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye.